Hello and welcome to Biocode. In this video, we are going to have a discussion about isolation of cells and cell lysis techniques. So in this video specifically, you are going to learn what sort of isolation techniques are available for single cell sequencing and what sort of cell lysis techniques are there. So there are multiple technologies that are available that allow us to do isolation of cells of individual cells from a tissue, but all of them vary in their results and in their overall technological impact. So first of all, what we are going to discuss is we are going to discuss a specific isolation of individual cells in a in manner of what sort of technologies are there. And then we are going to dive deeper into those specific technologies one by one. So first of all, there are five major technologies that are available for isolate, isolating individual cells from a tissue. So over here, if you see that this is a heterogeneous cell, a tissue that has heterogeneous cells. Uh, multiple cells are available in this particular tissue and there is there are five different mechanisms major mechanism that are commonly utilized that can be allow that can be used to isolate each individual cell from this entire tissue with varied uh, impact result for example some some particular techniques may rupture some cells and they they might not be able to uh, isolate 100 percent of the cells individually with 100 percent success rate some might do it with 80% success rate, some might do 50%, some might do 100, 100%, but none of them would be perfect in their total impact. So the first one is fax fluorescence activated cell sorting, then magnetic activated cell sorting, max, laser capture, micro dissection, manual cell picking, which is very, very time consuming, by the way, microfluidic. And before we proceed further, I would like to mention that manual cell picking is actually the traditional approach to, uh, to isolate the cells. And so it does not come under the technology, but it was the most and the most prominent technology or the uh, protocol to isolate the cells and th this was the foundation of how single cell sequencing started developing because the original uh, original authors of single cell sequencing technique used manual cell picking so if you have, if you have gone through that video you would know that the tang and their different team members utilized manual cell picking to um, to isolate the cells from a tissue so isolation of cells from tissue sample is very challenging. The capture efficiency is a major issue because we may not be able to isolate 100% of the cells. We, we have a varied uh, degree of results from uh, the overall tissue. So there are multiple different techniques as, as I said earlier, limiting dilution, fax, LCM, laser capture, micro dissection, microfluidics, and micromanipulator, all of them with varied results. And all of them are utilized with different companies. For example, 10x Genomics utilizes a different one, microfluidics, fags, etc. Some might use limited dilution, some use LCM, some use micromanipulator, etc. So all of them basically make sense because of their advantages and disadvantages. So each of them have their own advantages and disadvantages. So let's dive deeper into them. Cell isolation techniques or protocols basically are limiting dilution, micromanipulation, flow activated cell sorting or FAX for short, laser capture micro dissection, LCM for short, and microfluidics. Microfluidics is the most popular technique and can work with low sample quantity. For, for example, if you have very small tissue uh, and sample size, you can still use, utilize microfluidics to, to get the cells from your sample. On the other hand, laser laser capture micro dissection help us in because it is an advanced strategy for the isolation of the cells. Because if you have solid tissue, you can utilize laser capture dissection. It is very, very accurate in terms of employing laser capture technique to, uh, to pinpoint the location of the cells where should it cut. And it usually utilizes um, various hardcore uh, computer uh, computer aided uh, techniques to utilize for the dissection procedures and it utilizes various different algorithms to including machine learning to figure out the boundaries of the cell and then it dissects using laser on the other hand flow activated cell sorting is required requires a huge sample size more than 10,000 and then it basically flows flows the cells around in a in a in a chamber and then fr from there it sorts the cells out using it also utilizes cell by uh, laser by the way 
and micro manipulation this is where samples with small number of cells such as embryos or uncultivated cells it is very very time consuming it also comes under the umbrella of uh, manual cell picking and micro manipula manipulation is very time consuming i will show you in the next slide limit limiting dilution on the other hand is very in inefficient it, we have to use pipettes to isolate cells by dilution one by one and it is very time consuming if you see over here very very time consuming as compared to other techniques so lcm and fx and microfluidics have the edge on all these but still they are bound by their own uh, advantages and disadvantages so limiting dilution let's dive deeper so first of all what happens is that we take a sample for example sample from spleen we can extract b cells myeloma and then all these cells are there but we have to accept these cells one by one so to do that we have to do limiting dilution it is a procedure to obtain monoclonal cell population from a polyclonal mass of cells for example the, those tissues that have polyclonal that means multiple colonies of cells are there multiple populations of cells are there and we need to select one single population from there and it takes a lot of time because we have to do increased dilution of the parent cell on the other hand micro manipulation which i was talking about earlier takes a lot of time because we have to utilize pipettes injectors cutting tools it is very very time consuming due to accuracy and precise moments it is very accurate but takes a lot of time and manipulation of cells at the microscopy level you have to utilize certain uh, certain machinery to object objectify and magnify your cells in such a way that you can then inject and then cut out those cells out of there so it is very time consuming imagine that you have a tissue uh, for example a breast, breast tissue and then you have to extract thousands of cells from there so micro manipulation does not make sense on the other hand, microfluidics, which is very precise control of the flow, it makes a precise flow of the